rapper. Only stack rapper that you know is stack rapper. We're sitting in front of a, 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 a library of knowledge. Appreciate that. How do you drop music? Man, that's a big question. That shit like, first off, you know, the first thing, the very, very first fucking thing is this. Who you making the music for? That's right. the first thing. You right. know what I'm saying? Like a lot of motherfuckers feel like, let me make music for everybody. That's where you have a mistake. I make music for my friends. That's it. Mm. Anybody else that fuck with me is extra. I don't make music for everybody. I make music for the niggas that live my lifestyle, that's it. Being I can identify that, it make it more easier for me to know who I'm marketing towards. Right. So the first thing is know who you rapping for. Like a lot of motherfuckers got talent and they all over the place. Right. You know, once you know who you rapping for, then you know it's a lot more easier to serve them. You know, that's the first thing. Second thing is get you a good distributor that's going to give you some, give you a shot to be seen. You know what I'm saying? So like a lot, what I mean by that, like, <clears throat> I'm not knocking the tune calls and the distro kids, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, it's levels to this shit. You know what I'm saying? And you want to make sure you get with a distributor that's going to give you a fighting chance and have some visibility. You know what I mean? And um, it's, it's, it's a few distributors out there that y'all, you know, Cause get y'all some situations with, but that's important. You know what I mean? And make sure that who, who are the distributors? Oh man, it's a long list of them, man. You got no, Orchard right. Empire. Orchard Empire is good. The OE1, which is Monarch now, those is good. Those is three that I've personally dealt with and got mm -hmm. good results. I told what, you about, man, what about what about Bandcamp? Bandcamp that's not a Bandcamp is really not a distributor. Bandcamp is like a site for like fans that support you, right? you know what I'm saying? And it's like a, just a community of fans that support you. It's good to have to build that, you know, community and shit, but it's not something that's going to get you on every DSP. Right. You know what I mean? So, you know, those three, those three distributors, distributors right there is good companies that I got good results from. Shout out to Viper. It's another good one. They're really good. Okay. But the problem, the problem is most, most of these guys, like he's saying, when he says you have to get a fighting chance, they move like the labels do now. Right. Now it's all caught up. It's almost the same thing. If you don't have a certain name, if you don't have a certain cachet, you get pushed to the back burner for the guy who does. So if right. you, it, that's why a 38 special formula for putting out music, he should not keep to himself, but he should be very mm. careful about where he does that out because it's not one size fits all. Mm. Yeah, and a bunch not. of people watching this are gonna try what he's doing, and when it doesn't work for them, they're gonna blame him. Mm. Like it's your fault. You was bullshit. You was lying. Thirty eight specials lying. Blah blah blah. Meanwhile, it works for him every time. But the game is not one it's size not one fits size all. Size all. It's not you gonna work like that. Mm. But you know the, the 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 basic general shit of knowing who you targeting and marketing towards. Major key. Is the major key. That's kind of like for, it fits every situation. Major key. You know what I'm saying? Um, Fire is how you execute it. You know, it's all different ways to go about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but a good distributor, you know what I'm saying? Knowing who you making music for and then being consistent. That's major really what key. So that, those three things right there, see, and it's one fan at a time. Motherfuckers be trying to get on overnight. You got to accept the fact that you're building one fan at a time. And every time you put out something, you get in a shot to build more fans. And the less shots you take, the less fans you're going to get. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I look, at, I look at this shit like how I used to look at the streets and shit. You got some niggas who all got their own clientele. You might got, you know, a bunch of licks on your phone. He might got a bunch of licks on his phone. I might not have none. So now I'm studying the game to be like, yo, who got licks? See, I ain't really looking at like who got fans, because fans come and go. I'm looking at who making money off this shit independently. Those the guys that I want to network with. Those the guys that I want to do music with. Some of these guys I ain't even heard, but they got licks. I'm making, I'm doing this shit for money. See, it's two type of different ways to approach this shit. I tell niggas all the time, you could do this shit for a look, or you could do this shit for money. A lot of guys is paying for features and doing shit 
not even knowing no way they're going to make their money back because they're doing it for a look. Right. I used to be like that too, not knowing I just wanted a look. But then it's like, you know, when you start doing this shit for money, you don't stop caring about the look. Right. Start looking at who making the money and aligning yourself with who making the money. They might not be the most popular motherfucker. Right. You know, you might take a big bag and go get a big feature with somebody that's popular that's not really going to support you because you're and looking for a look. Label not going to clear it. Label not going to clear it possibly. And they possibly not even going to support it. Right. Because you're just another nigga that's just spending a dollar with them. But it's another nigga who probably don't even want that much money, who making money, who going to be something a couple years from now that you could align yourself with, who going to appreciate you breaking bread with them. See, we be skipping past that. We skip past that, try to go straight for the guy that's popping mm. when it's, it's guys that's surviving. And you got you to gotta, you gotta work your way. You can't skip past no skip steps in this shit. Who was the guys like that for you? Everybody in this lane. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, all the people I line myself with, like, you know, the, um, man, it's a long list. The, everybody I produce for, from the Flea Lords to the, to the graphs, to the to the bennies, to the to 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 um everybody that's just moving independently. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's 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 a it's a community of us. You know what I mean? Right. And um like I said, I treat this shit like the streets. It's like everybody got their own list. I see a nigga spot hit and I'm like, oh let me go over there, see what's going on over there. We need to do something. Mm -hmm. Let's figure something out because I need some of them licks. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how that shit is. And after a minute of time, you're going to have a phone with all of your licks. And they're going to take care of you. But the thing about it is a nigga think he's just going to come out there and just get all of these customers. <laughs> nah, it's one customer at a time. You got to convince, show a customer that you're consistent so they can fuck with you. Mm. You build one at a time and you don't need a lot. They think that you need a lot. You don't need a lot. Good certain amount of customers, you're going to live. And that's just the main... That's the routine that I have. So I try to drop every night at eight just to feed my people. Cause my people looking for me, you know, I, pro I provide a service that for them, you know, and I try to make sure that it's a unique service. I stay away from what everybody else doing. You know what I'm saying? When did you realize your name was up in your city? In my city? Yeah. My name been up in my city since, a, since Forever, but that that when I realized you talking about with your music, with my with my music, like right. I've, I've been putting out shit and have my city on Smash for a while, but my city's so small right. that that didn't really mean nothing. That wasn't enough to feed me. I still right. had to be active in other ways. Having a buzz in your city don't really mean nothing. It's right. good for the energy. It's good to push you and be like, okay, you they fuck with me now. I can do this somewhere else. But it was never a way I could liquidate it coming from a small city, mm -hmm. from a small city. Now I, in other cities, it's possible. Where I'm from, it's never been done. Right. It's never been done. It's, it's so 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 you know it's it, you know it's easy to get a buzz in a small city, but to make it out of a small city is the challenge. That's right. the challenge. You know what I'm saying? And, and 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 not having a small city mind, growing up in a small city with not that much opportunity, your mind be limited right. to what you could do, your capabilities. Right. You have to go outside of that environment to see what you could really do, and that's the challenge in itself. Because you gotta fund that. You gotta fund that. You gotta find a way to fund that to get up out of there. You know, and a lot of lot of cats in small cities, that's their main issue. That's what they're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, a lot of cars get buzzers in a city, and that's enough. That suffice them. Right. You know what I mean? Right. That's that that's all they want. You know what I mean? And and, and that's another challenge. Not to let that be enough for you, because it's easy to get that. But that ain't gonna feed you. It's easy to be the man in your city. You know what I mean? That's not really a challenge. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Unless so, you're content. And it, Unless you're content. If you're right. Content, if you're content, then I don't knock it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I look at um Paul Wall and uh those dudes in Texas in general, they live Off well of their city. in in Texas. But Texas is huge. It's huge. You say Houston is right. huge. Like, those and those is markets I call I call those supportive markets, man. Yeah. But markets where you can actually put out music in your market and survive. Mm -hmm. We really don't got those kind of markets over here. Like New York, really not a supporting market. Where it's everybody like, raps. Everybody raps. It's not even valued like that. It's like you rap, oh, I go find a nigga that rap too like this. That. It's not even appreciated like that. Mm -hmm. And it's not supported. So it makes the fight even 10 times harder to 
make something happen on some independent shit from this place. You know what because I'm saying? Because those of you who actually have talent have that much more that you have to fight through. There's that much more noise, that many more people dropping, that many more people in front of you at a show. You got to fight through more noise to be seen. That's a That's fact. A huge problem. Well, how do you separate yourself? Through being consistent. That's how you weave through all the bullshit. It's like, all right, everybody rapping right now. Let's see five years from now if you niggas still doing it. Let's see if y'all still got that. And it's been five years ago. Right. You know what I mean? Five, six years ago, me and Benny put out, up. me and Ben put out our first project together, not our second project together, six years ago. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Stabbed and shot six years ago. We still rapping at an all time high. You know what I'm saying? Still on the incline. This is what's going to separate. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, it, do you got the gas, do you got the hunger, you got the ambition to keep going. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and that's, that's, that's what this shit boiled down to. It's not stopping. You know what I mean? But it doesn't happen overnight. So you got to outlast, like you said earlier, it don't happen overnight. So you got to outlast them. Facts. <clears throat> I get you. Facts. Consistency. That's how I had to show them I could really rap. They ain't know. I come out, y'all spit. They like, all right, everybody spit. All right, we're going to see after a few years. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I'm still spitting. Where everybody at? Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Talk to them. Go on. Where they at? Someplace else. You know what I'm saying? Don't be mad. UPS is hiring. It's high B. These niggas fall off to the wayside. As they should. I mean, I started rapping in a room. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I agree, is hard. though. No, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Nah, no, I agree. They taking up space, you know? I'm wrong. Nah, I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you. I'm just, I'm just, there's somebody watching. <laughs> They said, I, I got to feed my family. I got to I gotta give this up. That you just you just Yo, stabbed man, in the man. throat. <laughs> Mech about to go viral. Listen. You got to feed your family regardless. That's what these motherfuckers work. got to realize and shit. I, 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 a lot I, I, of these motherfuckers be waiting till they get on. Like, Yo, I got to feed. That, that shit is retarded. You're supposed to been doing that. You're supposed to feed your family from the jump. All that other shit is extra. You right. know what I'm saying? And that's what a lot of niggas be fucked up at. They be like... You know what I realized about this rap shit, man? This hot for trap trapper turns smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rapper.